What's up? So, I blew up the motor on my little uh, hunting vehicle. Well, I didn't blow up the motor. I blew the head gasket in between number two and number three cylinders, to be specific. My son and I went and scouted some new area out in the wilderness, and uh, just wasn't as much grass as I wanted to see. It's hard to want to go that far and, you know, base like a weekend or something off of something so uncertain. So, give me breathing. <sighs> Stupid heavy pack, blown engine, no bears. So, what's been happening basically is I haven't been seeing a whole lot of bears in our normal spots. And uh, there's some very dedicated people that have been leading us to said normal spots. Which, hey, that's awesome. Go kill a bear. But made us want to kind of spread our wings a little bit more. And what I really want to do, what I wanted to do this weekend, but I couldn't, is uh, go on a backpack hunt. When the engine blew on my little hunting vehicle, um, I got all mad and I was like, that's it, I'm just gonna go. Texted a couple buddies and uh, they didn't respond. So I was like, Psh, going anyway. Grab my backpack, grab my sleeping bag, grab my trekking poles, grab my tent, strapped it all on there. Started heading out the door and then I realized there's probably some poor planning here that spur of the moment, nobody knows where you're going trip, doesn't always end up so well. So I decided I'd hike into this basin just for the evening. And hopefully, with any luck, we're gonna see if we can find a bear today. So I got to where I would normally sit in glass. It looks like I'm just a little bit early. There's no, there's no green yet, it's all still snow. A little bit of snow that has melted, it's just brown. There's no uh, green vegetation popping up. It's starting to get cold, wind's howling. No trees to block it right here. I'm gonna head back down just a little ways, get in the trees so I can glass back up in the base. So, Carrie and I left town around 10 ish, 10 o'clock this morning, and we've basically been in the bare woods ever since put a ton of time into this side of the mountain, hopping over to the other side. We're gonna sit that one out till dark, so once we get down to this side, we'll be able to kind of see down in the ravine a little bit. And this ravine, it's got this, like a creek in the bottom, and as it goes up, the timber line is like crazy shaded right now. For whatever reason, it just looks like a bear to be stepping out, but right up above that is this really green looking, um, kind of like a rocky bluff. And man, it would be so cool to get a shot from this landing across to that bluff. That's like, ah, oh, I think I dreamed about it last night. It'd be so cool. We're shooting straight west, so the sun is kind of in our eyes. So it's kind of hard to glass, but it just really looks like a good spot for a bear to pop out tonight. So um, I'd say fingers crossed, but bears are going to do what bears are going to do. So we'll just come down here and check and see. Check the other side of the mountain already. Been out. Oh, shoot since 10 o'clock and right now it's 5 30 or 6 30 <laughs> so we've got just a little bit of time left probably about an hour hour of shooting light left so oh, we came all the way down here because it's right at last light and i could hear i could hear a bunch of sticks breaking down at the bottom i figured it was a bear so we bailed off the landing we come down here and we probably spooked single branch on the way out. I've never heard louder deer in my life here. 